So today I'm going to demonstrate these new boards that I've been making. These are 82B connection blocks for connecting Bell System speaker phones to a regular 2565 phone set or any of the five line phones that support the speaker phone. So uh, this is the board without any components mounted to it. Um, here's the board with the components mounted. Uh, three Amphenol connectors and a bunch of terminal blocks and a jumper block. So these boards um, I decided to make because apparently they're very rare um, and I needed one in order to hook up my own uh, speakerphone system so I made these boards just for that but I think other people might find them useful too. So right now I have um, this 18 volt power supply which is part of the speakerphone configuration uh, it puts out 18 volts AC and it's called a 85B1. But I think uh, probably any power supply that puts out 18 volts would work. So this provides power to the speakerphone system. The speakerphone uh, components plug into this connector, uh, one on this side, one on this side. The phone that you're controlling plugs in here and the KSU goes in here, which supplies the phone lines. So what I'm going to do here is First, hook up a phone. So this is a 2565, which supports a speakerphone. And it has all the pins on it for the violet pairs, which are needed for speakerphone. Uh, so I'm gonna plug that in here. And then I've got the KSU, which is gonna provide lines one and two. And I'll hook that in here. Now normally you would just plug this into this. In fact, I can do that just to demonstrate that um, this is just a regular uh, phone system. So if I pick up line one, line two, and intercom, that's being provided by the KSU. But if I go through this block, then I can add the speakerphone components. So here's the transmitter, which has the microphone in it. And this is also got the volume control for the speaker. So according to the labels on the block here, this plugs in here. And these are uh, unusual uh, special Amphenol connectors that have a special little pin on the side that's supposed to line up with a little slot on the Amphenol. So that plugs in there. And then here's the actual speaker. And this has the amplifier circuitry in it. And this plugs in up here on the top part of this connector. So with all this connected, I should be able to get dial tone if I have line one selected. Turn down the volume. And I'll make an outgoing call to line two. And I'll answer line two on another phone here. So I should be able to hear myself talk if I'm talking into the microphone of uh, line two here. And that's through the speaker. And uh, if I make a test call out, uh, by turning on the speaker and... The number you have dialed is incorrect. Please I can hang hear, up and dial again. I can do a sound check that way by listening. So this, the sound quality seems really good on these speakers. And uh, my understanding is that the microphone works quite well too. Um, I've only ever been on the uh, mic end of things, but I'm told uh, by people who have called that uh, this sounds quite good. So. This is the configuration where the phone, the speaker, the transmitter, the 82 block, and the power supply are all uh, documented in the Bell System practices. And usually the phones that support speaker phones usually show this diagram. Uh, another model phone besides the 2565 would be like one of the touch matics that are also five-line phones. And here's pictures of the components. One thing I did have to do when I got this phone, the violet pairs had been disconnected inside the phone. Normally the default configuration for these phones from the factory is to have the violet pairs hooked up. <clears throat> so I had to uh, go to the documentation for the 2565, identify the violet pairs, and make sure that they were connected to the right screws. So what happened was uh, apparently somebody had taken all the violet pairs off the screws and spared them off using uh, electric tape. So by reconnecting them to the proper screws, 
then it worked fine. Uh, when those aren't connected, then this microphone behaves oddly. Uh, like when you hit the on button, it doesn't light up, or maybe it lights up, but you don't get dial tone. Anyway, it doesn't uh, work correctly. So just by checking the phone against the documentation, you should be able to get it to work. There is an option block here, which lets you pick between two features that these uh, speaker phones support. The default is to be configured here, where it cuts off ringing when there's an incoming call while you're on the speakerphone so that you don't hear ringing while you're on the call. Uh, and then there's another setting here which lets you control an external relay. There's extra terminal connections here and here. Uh, those are for other features. Um, I think the uh, Touchmatic phones, you can plug the power supply into a couple of screws so that you can power everything, both the speakerphone and the Touchmatic, through this uh, block without having to have an extra wire. Anyway, that's it.